for Life on YouTube and Facebook and I'm experimenting in the kitchen with making raw dressing. Uh, so I cheated because um, uh, anything helps when you're being a raw vegan. I mean it's a delicious way to live and it's definitely helping my digestive system but um, you know just uh, jumping a step by getting it already made at Whole Foods or Sprouts or any health food store in your area really helps and ups your game. So that way you have quicker fast food. Um, so real quick, uh, this well the pictures of the products that I'm going to show you, they're also on Vegan Latinos for Life on YouTube Facebook, Facebook page. So here's the raw agave nectar I put in the tahini dressing. So it's it's about $10, $13. The tahini dressing, the tahini uh, already made at the store. Um, I'm gonna go get it out the fridge. Uh, oh, hold on. All right, so here it is, uh, the raw tahini, organic sesame tahini living tree community foods. So they have a, a lot of products. Um, you can shop on their website too, but I got this at Whole Foods. So I, you know, I don't want to run out too quickly because I don't really need that much just to make a delicious dressing. Um, I used to get a tahini dressing um, at uh, Mother's Market when I used to live in Southern California, and it was great, but they don't have it where I live now, so I have to make my own. So, I mean, I know how to make the tahini itself. Um, it's online if you want to know to, just look it up. But, you know, it's nice, it's already ready, and I used two tablespoons. Um, and I wanted to make at least eight ounces because that's how much I put in this giant salad. Um, and I try to have at least two of these giant salads a day. Um, along with tons of other fruits and vegetables I eat. Um, so, yeah, I put this in here. And then I put, like, uh, filled it with, like, a half a cup of water and then two tablespoons of tahini. And then I put, like, a half a tablespoon of this. Um, you guys, I'm a rookie, so, you know, don't go by what I'm telling you. Just go by your taste buds. Um put organic sea salt, no pepper, and then I put some garlic powder, which they say I actually put garlic cloves, but I didn't have any, so that's all we did today. We put that in. So it, it's still good. It's delicious, actually. So again, half avocado, um, and I put it in my magic bullet in the smaller one. This one. So this is a smaller one. So I, I'm guessing it's about, you know, a cup or two. So I put it in there and mixed it with the half avocado and the agave and the salt and the, um, and the garlic powder. And I put a little bit of lime in it, but didn't really need the lime. So I would not recommend the lime. It was good just as is. Um, it does recommend you put lemon in it and then actual uh, directions online. Um, I did not put lemon because I have so much lemon already. I had lemon and celery juice in the morning and I'm just not trying to because I'm not very familiar with this lifestyle yet. It's only been doing it since January 23rd, 2016. So I don't know how much lemon I should really be taking in. I know it's alkaline but also the enamel in my teeth. I don't want to take in too much lemon and then I have to like brush my teeth like four or five times a day so trying to limit the acidity in going in my body because um, I don't know if you can get too much but I think I got enough already with the lim with actually having my uh, juice this morning but you know it does taste delicious with the lemon and tahini is known for having lemon so you probably want to put it in if you're going to try it out um, I might do it sometimes during the week my husband wants me to make him this delicious dressing for him to take to work so I'm gonna do that for him starting next week um, in the meantime since he's not raw he just has a regular vegan ranch dressing that we buy at the store um, so he's gonna alternate with that um, yesterday night I was experimenting I made my tahini raw dressing for the first time last night and it was good um, did it a little different I had lemon in it last night like it says to put like a whole lemon in there whole lemon in a quarter so you could do that too um, and also it says to put onion in it, onion powder. Um, I didn't do it with the onion powder, um, but I do have fresh onions right here. 
So um, I took care of that, getting that ready. So as you can see, I just like chopped diced onion in my actual salad as it is. Um, so that's all I got for you. I'm about to have lunch. Um, have a blessed, wonderful day. Um, thank the Lord. He's blessed my life, my family's life. I'm so blessed to have a wonderful husband who supports me and a wonderful daughter who's my little mini me, my little vegan. She's six years old. So, um, you know, life gets busy and I, I do so many awesome things all day and I try to make a video whenever I get a chance. So wish I could share all the blessings the Lord bestows on us, but it just, I'm not the best with the camera. So, um, I hope, uh, you're having like a blessed day, like I said, and this is Vegan Latinas for Life on YouTube and Facebook. And if you watch my videos, usually you probably don't want to stick around because I'm just going to repeat what I usually say because this is my social media ministry. Um, and I want to make sure that I don't forget to thank the Lord for leading me on this health journey. Um, I'm not on here for likes. I'm here to support those who are on vegan journey. And also if you, if you're a Christian, you love Christ, you don't have to change just because you go vegan. I know there seems to be a lot of, um, talk about that. So, um, I, I have a lot of friends who are vegan that are acquaintances and they're not Christian, but you know, that that's their way of living and that's not the way I choose to live so uh, I can never turn my back on God because he's blessed me so much it when someone's that apparent in your life it's very difficult um, to deny God like that because he's been there um, f since forever so um, I love him and I believe Jesus is my Savior and that's the number one thing that my channel is about and then second um, is the love and compassion for all sentient beings of course god made the beings so animals so it's our duty due diligence to make sure we take care of the animals that he created so beautifully so that's our job and by not eating them it's a good start so third on my channel because three things are important on my channel so god loving jesus is my savior second love for all sentient beings and third, health, of course, which I talk about a lot on my channel. So you could check out Christian Vegan Fitness, the group God led me to create on Facebook. There we share our recipes, um, our workouts, everything we're doing that just honors God in our physical form and spiritual. So please join us there. I'd love to add you. Um, and then if you like to hear how Christianity and veganism comes together, there's a YouTube channel called ProVeg. Check that out. And also if you're military in the uh, and vegan um, there's a facebook page vegan in the military that is a support group and it's great so um i can't you know because we're military i i can't share everything of course of what we do in our lives but i try to share the little tidbits that i can so with that said um you know you can be military and be vegan you can be christian and be vegan you can be latino and be vegan you can be any race and be vegan um you can be anything and be vegan so veganism is not just one for one set of groups not set group so um remember stay encouraged stay motivated and stay hydrated make sure you're drinking lots of water uh, i can't stress that enough and um yeah so again i'm here for you guys i'm not here for likes um this is just something i do uh support as a social media ministry and support those who are going vegan especially those who, you know, are in my situation, who are either uh, a, a Latino or um, a Christian or military, and you're feeling like I used to feel when I started this journey, like I felt alone. Uh, thank God I had my husband, who was supportive. Um, I didn't have social media then, um, about four years back. So everything's changed. Uh, fast food, McDonald's, Taco Bell, Burger King, all that is no longer on our agenda. And it will never be. The food we prepare here in our kitchen is so much more delicious. Sorry I have you looking at a salad. But like I said, I'm a rookie at this. And all I can tell you is that maybe you'll get better as time goes by. But if not, you know, it's me sharing my life with you. All right, you guys. Remember, God loves you. I love you. See you later. Mm -hmm.